Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Brandon. I am an acting and performance coach and today I'm going to be listening to another song from I think it's Mylene Farmer. That's how it would be pronounced if it were in English. I, I'm afraid that I'm messing it up. I'm not confident with my, my pronunciation skills. So if I did butcher it, I do apologize. I hope you can forgive me, but she is pretty amazing. I saw one video of her singing a song called Last Smile. And if I was told correctly, then it's about, or it was written about uh, her father at a time when he was on his deathbed. And that's very sad. And it was a very touching song, a very moving performance. She had a very intense connection with her audience. There's no way, there's no way I'm gonna try to say this name. I'm not gonna do it. That right there though, it's very, it's very interesting, very rhymey for a title of a song. I know nothing about the song, obviously. I, I don't know very much about the artist. I may skip past this beginning portion here because it looks like she's on a talk show. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button, click that little bell icon to get notified the next time I upload a video. If you enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about it and let me know if there's anything you might like me to react to in the future. Also, if you'd like to have a little more input into what I react to here on this channel and what I do in the future on this channel, please come on over over to the patreon join up we do polls and things over there it's really starting to kick off more people are joining every day seems like so if that's something you're interested in if it's if you want to support the channel come on over to the patreon sign up and join us over there it's a lot of fun and i would definitely appreciate it this um this is a lot of work <laughs> basically you know come over there and boss me around it's fun i'm sure it's fun anyways now that all that's out of the way let's get into the reaction my lean farmer that right there. I almost did it. You almost got me. Not happening. The last song she did was really very beautiful. I'm excited. To, I don't know what that was. I'm getting a, a, a childhood vibe. Definite. She's very intense, knows how to work with a camera, that's for sure. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I do this sometimes, uh, those of you who have been watching me for a while know I do this. And sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. I'm just going to tell you the vibe I'm getting, which is kind of weird because it really doesn't match the music at all. Just from her sort of mannerisms and, and the body language and the choreography, this is what I'm feeling. I'm about to make a fool out of myself. I'm getting like childhood, which it makes sense because the title is very sing-songy. It's very rhymy and there's, she's certainly delivering it that way. But I, I got in my brain, I got into the woods. Into the Woods is a is a stage play musical based on nursery rhymes. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting. Like the, the, it started out very childlike, and then I got this ominous feeling, like something bad was going to happen. Something's not right. It didn't feel like. I. It doesn't make any sense. the The beat of the song is certainly up. Maybe I'm completely wrong. It's just the vibe I got. It was just sort of this creepy. It's also kind of the sing-songy nature because all of our nursery rhymes are insane. Like ring around the posy. Yeah, let's talk about, you know, pestilence and death. When the bow breaks and all that stuff, it's really horrible. It's just something that I've been conditioned with, I think. And it's got definitely like a nursery rhyme sort of um, vibe. Let's see where it goes. I love her voice. Also, this is giving me Scarecrow vibes. I don't like that. What was that? That's like the opposite of... 
Is that sexual? Her expressions are throwing me off too. She's so cute. She's really having a lot of fun with this, isn't she? Okay, it's definitely something sexual in the like undertones, maybe subtext. So, okay, I'm getting weird mixed signals from what I'm watching. So I don't understand a single word of it. Usually I can, when it's French, I can pick out things here and there. I don't know if it's because I'm being distracted. There's a lot going on. There's a lot happening in the mix. The choreography feels very important. This is not like a jazzy dance number. This is not like a, a an, an, an e-pop dance number. These movements have meaning, right? I mean, I've been around stage performance enough to know that this was important. Like they didn't, these aren't arbitrary. So I'm getting distracted maybe by a lot of that. I'm not being able to catch a single word and I can't, I don't have any idea what the title means. So some of the movements they were making, at first it looked like she was pregnant. You know, she's talking about something in her belly, but usually whenever you're talking about that, my, oh, I'm pregnant, whatever, you go down. <laughs> like your, your hand gestures would go down. That's the way the baby goes from your belly down and out, right? But they didn't. They took their hands, they touched the belly, took their hands, went down and came up. That was interesting. I don't know what that means. Um, there's still an ominous feel to it. There's still something in this that is making me uneasy. Like there's a monster or a villain. She has this whimsical look on her face. And there's certainly a sense of whimsy in the music, especially in the melodic lines she's singing. Her voice is so beautiful, isn't it? It's so light and, I, I don't know, uh, uh, soft to the touch, but not like cotton or squishy soft, but like like smooth, almost no friction. And it's, it's just, it's lovely to the ears. It's beautiful to listen to. <laughs> Oh, don't look into my soul. That's not fair. Is she casting a spell? Not on me. Uh -uh. I need like a, a talisman or something. I'm wondering, those of you who can, who know this style, this uh, region better too, can tell me: is this is this standard in pop music? It, this is like electro pop, right? So, is this standard to be this? Um, oh, the word stylized in their movements. less free organic dance and very structured stylized movements is that common it's certainly telling a story so we've got a lot of repetition i'm really trying to catch what's going on there it was again what is that what is that There we go. She's a baby. She's a child again. What was that? Oh, she's lovely. I think she has a good heart. Oh. Okay. Um... So I'm going to start, I'm going to start by just commenting on the music. To be completely honest, that, that sort of really electric sort of techno vibe, it's not really my jam. It's not bad. 
Uh, there, there are certain kinds of music that I just can't listen to. This is not one of them. It's, it's, it's fine. It's not something I blast in my car when I'm driving down the road, you know, but if it's on in a club, I vibe to it. But her, her voice, her voice made the music much more pleasant for me. Her voice is beautiful. And the way she sort of rode the rhythm, right? She just kind of vibed along in the pocket. I think she did an excellent job. She did an excellent job. Um, look, I did my best, okay? I broke it down, I think, as best as I can during the song. I mean, it's probably about partying or, or drinking with your friends on the weekend. I have no idea. I, I, it's just not the vibe I got. I got a certain vibe, I expressed it to you, and now I feel like I'm going to regret it. But I can't do anything about it because I talked about it during the recording. I can't just cut it out. So there you go. There, there you have it. It's forever, it's forever yours, YouTube. Just tear me apart in the comments. I think I've said everything that I can say about this. So yeah, thank you so much for for suggesting this one. I really did like it. It was fascinating. Like it was, I was like an anthropologist at, at, at a dick site. I was just, it was. There was so much to to really pick apart. I've always said this. Art is so subjective, and it's all about the impact it has on you as a person. It's all about the what what feelings it invokes in you. At that time, a person can see a painting and be overwhelmed with joy when they're 23, and then when they're 47, go back and look at the same painting and break down in tears. Art is subjective, and it's all about you in that moment. So me in this moment, that's what I got. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We shall see. Michael, I think you were the first one who suggested her music to me, I think. Um, I'm not 100% on that, but I think so. Am I, am I really far off? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, that's all I got for you on this one. Thank you so much for coming along on this journey with me. Thank you for enjoying this with me. I hope you did enjoy it. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video, what, what you thought of my analysis. Let me know how batshit and crazy insane that, that I was. I probably shouldn't curse. Um, to come up with the idea that I came up with, I, 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 you know. Or let me know how spot on I was. Maybe there's a miracle out there. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the little bell icon so you get notified the next time and every time I upload a video so that you can always come back here. Give me your thoughts and just see what kind of crazy crap I can come up with in the future. If you'd like to, please come on and join us on the Patreon. It's a lot of fun and I'd love to see you over there. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Be kind to each other. And most importantly, be kind to yourself.